And uh, I leaned into Spade a little bit and said, hey, man, just watch my back. Like, y y you, know, you know me, and you know how I played Dean, and you know these characters, you know the show. Help me, help me craft this guy uh, the way that I want him to be crafted. Uh, and uh, and he, he gave me some really helpful pointers and feedback throughout that episode that I think really got me into a groove with the character. Uh, and I'm, I'm not sure I could have done that by myself. So I will say that those kind of collaborative efforts do truly still exist on the set. And that's pretty cool after 13 seasons. Yeah, it, it, it was too bad that, uh, that Spate wasn't directing the alternate universe uh, Castiel and could have told Misha not to do what he did, um, which I think would have been a benefit to us all. Uh, but you can't win them all. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love messing with Misha. And this would be something of a Hail Mary. It's a sports term, like slam dunk or a uh, ball handler. You call it? Like, like ball handler. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, take it back to ball handler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody restraining him? Ball handler? <laughs> He's still there, huh? show us what would have happened if Sam and Dina had met uh, alternative universe Castillo. <laughs> okay, I'm missing something. Because this, this is clearly brought up. What happens if Sam and Dean meet alternative universe Castillo? Yeah. They want you to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Got it. Understood. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You give us a little, uh, a little alternative <laughs> universe, Castiel, and I'll show you what Sam will be. We've been studying you. Pure steel. I haven't seen many like you. But... You gotta give us a 3 2 1 action because we're, we're actors. We can't just play. So, 3 2 1 action. Yeah, you like what you see. Yeah? Misha do. So, in all fairness, we need to beat Apocalypse World Kessian in the next one back to you. Thank you, and I hope that answers the question. Can I ask you guys a question? Um, sorry, is that all right? If no, I have at it. Go yeah. for it. Uh, so you, you cast uh, Alex on the show, and Alex um, looks exactly like me. <laughs> and 
was wondering, like, just is better that, and younger. Well, well the way younger. <laughs> No, it's actually like it feels like a whole generation now has lapsed on on the show, I'm, and uh, and Alex to date won't uh, submit to a paternity test. Um, I keep trying to get a DNA sample from him. Um, he keeps asking for the 23 and Me, and I'm like, no, not today, sir. But are, are we at some point going to find out that like really Cass was the dad or something like that? Yeah. No. What do you think, Bob? Spoiler alert. I, I don't think they look anything alike. Yeah. Okay. okay. You can have the couch if you want. I don't sleep much. Oh, I, I don't sleep at all. <sighs> it begins. Hey, they look exactly alike. That, that is the nicest thing you've ever said to Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> No, they look, they look, you guys look related. It's creepy. <laughs> There's a thing there. There's a through line. Wait till I start wearing a trench coat, then like. <laughs> That's right. yeah. That will be like the confirmation, I think. Can you, can you talk in a really boring voice? <laughs> Wait till I wear a trench coat. <laughs> Asmodatus want with you. Oh, they mostly wanted Lucifer. <clears throat> Lucifer? No, no. Is that is he related to Lucifer? Lucifer. We we slammed his ass repeatedly yeah. into oh, the apocalypse. This is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> your friendly neighborhood cosmic entity. Oh. I'm a little bit more nervous than I thought I'd be, so that kind of sucks, but, um... So is Misha. So okay, good, good. Um, so my friend Sydney was supposed to ask you this at DC Con. This is for Misha, sorry. Fine, um, so fine. You guys just nerve it out. <laughs> so, um, what was your inspiration for the accent for Jark Empty? <laughs> Ooh, yes, what was your inspiration? <laughs> Was it my choice? Yeah. I like the way you phrased that. Like, did somebody force you to do that all level accent? Did you lose a bit? What happened? What went wrong to get me there? Why do you look like me? Oh, yes. 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 Well, I show up in my real form and you freak out, rip out your own eyes, etc. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, for both of us? Is that what you're asking? No, I love that. <laughs> um, that accent, I think, was remarkable in that there was no, there was definitely no thread that would connect it to any <laughs> geographic location in the world. Um, it was definitely nebulous. Um, not by design, um, just by pure... Let's hear a little bit of it. <laughs> I don't even know if I can replicate it, yes? Yes, you like to, you like that water, do you? Yeah. You're like a gnat in my head, driving me crazy. Uh, and I am from an oil rig in the Atlantic. That's what it is. Actually, that's a that, that's a classic Atlantic oil rig accent. That's why we don't let them act. That's the real reason we don't let them watch Supernatural on Royal Rigs, because uh, they'll take offense at the accent. <laughs> Come on, Castiel, wouldn't you rather be a fond memory than a constant festering disappointment? <laughs> Just let's lay down. Just try and sleep. Hmm? Think about it. Infinite peace, yes? Thanks for asking. <laughs> but what was, where did, what was the inspiration for that, though? I, um, were you literally just trying to think of the most annoying accent you could possibly remember? <laughs> I 
actually. Or did you have a cold that day? I was no, because I had to switch back and forth between. Because it's very nasally. It was. Very, <laughs> like a very up here. It was very. For some weird reason. reason. It was I don't know why. <laughs> That was that. Were, I reminded me of um, of that episode at the end when you were playing two like future <laughs> Dean and present Dean yeah. talking to each other, yeah. and there was this moment when you were sitting. Yeah, on but the I wasn't playing different Dean. I was playing. Yeah, but it was two Deans, but they were like slightly. You know, one had been. One was, was just five years in, into yeah. living in an apocalypse world. That's it. Okay, whatever. Yes, admittedly, you, you, there was very little nuance. I didn't change my vibes. <laughs> I remember one no reason. I remember you. I remember you sitting uh, on the ground. Uh, it was raining. Ding, 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 ding. It was raining. You were sitting on the ground, and, and there was like smoke coming out of your ears when you were shooting that episode. Like, yeah. You were like, "I will never do this again." You probably will do it again because they'll write a script and you have to do whatever they say. But um, it was. Really it's hard. really difficult. It was really hard, and the way we were filming that, they, play, kept, they kept. They were like, mm, "You need to do you no know what uh, switch characters, switch character, I mean, like that, like Ooh. like switch character. Do it, do it again, but do it as the other guy." And um, and that's how. So you almost needed that accent to differentiate. I needed it. something to differentiate it. Yeah. Otherwise, that um, makes sense. Otherwise, otherwise, you would have been so. No one watching it would have had any idea which character was which, <laughs> yeah, which would have been confusing. And I wouldn't have known which was which. That's true. Um, and I barely did as it's as it stood. So. I thought it was good. Thanks, man. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um. You too, I guess. <laughs>